Okay, so we're going to look at some prediction work for this part of the lesson. So you should have a copy of this at home in front of you or at school, but it's also on the screen for you to be able to read. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to just pause the video and just have a quick read of this extract. So let's have a look at this question. So I'm going to model this question to you. Okay, so what do you think the two men intended to do and why do you think this? So I've just had a look at the opening snippet of our of our extract and it says early on a summer morning two men headed to the shore launched their boat and set sail it was the calm hour of the morning before sunrise when most living creatures are still asleep now i'm thinking here it's very early okay it's in the morning okay two men have gone off and have gone to the shore and i know i associate this the shore with being the edge of where there's water usually the sea or usually a lake or a river and this is they launched their boat and set sail so obviously going out very early in the morning onto the ocean, onto the sea for a reason. Now it says it was the calm hour of the morning before sunrise. So it's not just early in the morning, you know, talking about six o'clock when people start getting up for work, it's before sunrise. And usually sunrise, even if it's even in the summer, we're still talking sort of four or five o'clock in the morning. So they're up really, really early and they've gone off out on their boat. And it says this is when most living creatures are still asleep. Now this gives me a hint that it might be something to do with maybe the living creatures that are in the sea. Okay, so we've got the early morning on the summer and they've launched their boat and set sail. We know that it's an early hour. So I think I'm going to link it to the living creatures. So I think it might be a case of maybe they're going out fishing. Okay, so let me let me write this out. So I think that they two men intended to catch some fish. I think this because so now I'm thinking to myself, well, I think that they're going out to catch fish and I need to think, well, why do I think this? I need to give a reason. So I'm going to say, I think because. And I think because they want went onto the sea early in the morning and that is something fishermen do. So that's me using my background knowledge. I know that when people go out early on a boat, early in the morning before sunrise, that's what fishermen do. They're always out early in the morning to catch that early rise. Because obviously, one thing that I know about fish that you might not know is that fish can hear the noise. When you go fishing, you actually have to be very quiet and the noise scares them away. Now, if you imagine it's early in the morning, everyone's asleep. So the general noise and the noise pollution is very, very quiet. So it's the best time to then go out and catch fish. So I've used a little bit of the evidence there and my general knowledge there to have a guess. Because we're predicting, there's no right or wrong answer. So I think they've gone out to catch some fish because I think that's what they've gone to do because they've gone very, very early. So next now, let's explore this question. So let's have a go at doing this one together. So what else do we need to know about the men to fully understand what they will do? So what I want you to do is just have a think. How would you be able to identify a fisherman? Just pause the video and have a think. Okay, so what ideas did we come up with? Oh, okay, so they might be wearing specific clothing so that you know they're a fisherman. Okay, what else? Okay, so they might have to take other bits of food with them. So sometimes when you catch fish, you have to take like worms and bait with you to be able to catch them. Now, I'm also thinking that I actually don't know what their jobs are. They might not be fishermen. They just might be two people that are going out on a boat. So I'd actually need to know if that's their job, whether they're going out because it's their work thing or they're just going out to fish because it's a hobby. So I'd need to know their work job. I'd need to know if they're taking any other food or items with them. I'd need to know uh, maybe what they were wearing and why they were wearing it. And also, when you go fishing, you need fishing rods, so you need equipment. So I want to ask myself, well, I need to think, well, what kind of equipment might they be taking with them as well? And what might their purpose be for going out fishing? Who's the fish going to be for? So in order to know what the, in order to know more about the men to fully understand what they will do, we'll pick some of those ones. So I'm going to go with the first one as not knowing what their jobs are. So what their jobs are. So I need to know if that's what they're going out there to do. But I also think an important thing for the fishermen is you'll know if they're going fishing because of the equipment that they'll have. It's quite obvious what a fishing rod is. If they got onto the boat with tennis rackets, I wouldn't be thinking they're going fishing. Equally, I don't think they'll be thinking they're going to play tennis because that's a weird thing to take on a boat with you. But that clue with that fishing rod is going to give me an idea if that's what they're going. So I'm going to put here whether they have fishing equipment with them. So that's going to tell me a little bit more of a clue if that's their intentions when they've gone out on this boat. So well done for generating some of those ideas with me. What I want you to do now is have a go at this one on your own. So we know it's about fishing, okay? And we know these two men are going out and fish, but why would we want to write a story or read a story about men going fishing? 
there's got to be almost a hook into the into the lesson and there's no pun intended there by hook like fish hook but i'll take it it was a good one um so i want you to pause the video i want to have a go answer this question of what do you think the rest of the story is going to be about just pause the video and have a go okay well i think that the only reason why you'd write any story about men going fishing is either something's got to go wrong or there's going to be something amazing that happens and i think it could be something on the lines of they catch like a whopping great big fish like an extraordinary fish that either has never been seen before it was just you know one of those pure luck days where they've gone out fishing like they do every other day and they've just caught a massive tuna or a massive piece of brain one or the other so my answer i've put here is i think it will be about two fishermen who make an extraordinary catch whilst out fishing okay so that's what i think the story is going to be about okay because we've assumed that they've gone fishing they've got their equipment they've set out early in the morning there's going to be a motive a reason for this story to be happening okay so your task now based on that is i'm not going to give you specific question styles to look at but you're going to write a paragraph to predict what happens next in our chapter and i've written some questions here that you'll need to have been able to answer in your paragraph that you've written so your task is to predict what might happen next in our story okay so i want you to think about why the mountain dwarves were up there okay there's a little bit of evidence in the text to suggest why they were there okay so think about why they were there go back and see what it was that they might have been looking for and then i want you to think what do you think is going to happen to ben sorrel and fire drink okay think about what great owl told them about going into yellow zones on the map we know it's a warning spot we've now come across mountain dwarves that are clearly up to no good and then they've mentioned something about a castle and the mountain dwarves don't seem to like this castle so then i want you to think well do you think the mountain dwarves will become allies or enemies to ben sorrel and fire drake are they going to be helpful to them are they going to join forces with them or is there going to be a problem okay are they going to take them to the castle is something going to happen and come from the castle so i want you to pause the video well you've come to the end of the video now so i want you to finish the video and then i want you to have a go at writing that paragraph answering all of those questions and it's important to use evidence from the text if it's going to support your prediction so think about the characters think about their motives and think about what could possibly happen and use what we know so far in this chapter in these five four pages that we've read about the danger that we know is already there at the moment okay because we've now noticed that they've spotted the dragon so is something going to happen to fire drake are they going to steal him are they going to try and fight them okay so your task now is to have a go at writing that paragraph okay so use the evidence from the text think about what you've already what you already know so far and i want you to write a nice good paragraph to predict what you think might happen next okay good luck to your five